Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates. This afternoon we're going to be having a look at a severe winter spell of weather in America um, with winter storm Uri which is bringing some very significant impacts to many parts of the United States. Do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you do like and subscribe uh, as it really does help me out. But now into the video. I'm currently looking at the GFS um, map and it doesn't look too severe on the surface but is this little feature towards the south, um, towards, towards the Texas area, we're seeing some very uh, wintry weather at the moment. Um, and we'll go through the pressure cha charts first. And again, it doesn't look too severe, but you can see this little low out in the Gulf of Mexico, and it moves northwards, interacts with the jet stream, deepens, and we have a big winter storm. It's already a winter storm um, at the moment, simply because of its snowfall, but wind will be picking up later or uh, later today into tomorrow as it heads up northeast coast. Now, this is going to be a classic nor'easter um, simply because it's too far inland. Uh, many areas across the east will not be seeing snow, will likely be seeing some heavy rain, but it's going to be bringing some very significant impacts to many sort of northern and eastern parts of the United States. And as we run through, there's actually a secondary um, low pressure that's currently out towards uh, sort of the northwest of the country and that is going to be winter storm viola um, which travels across the south picks up by the jet stream and uh, end of this week heads up the northeast and again big big winter storm this is going to be fueling the jet stream um, which is going to be impacting the uk as well with this if i now have a look at the 850 hpa temperatures you can really see how massive the temperature contrast is some brutally cold arctic air minus 20 getting to maybe down to minus 30 degrees at 850 hpa and then the gulf of mexico perhaps 10 15 degrees above freezing at 850 hpa and this temperature contrast is fueling this big winter storm now as we move through you see that temperature contrast moves up and you see that low develops right on that boundary so towards the east and the south of the storm it's going to be rain thunderstorms, significant winds, but to the north and western edge of the storm, very significant snowfall totals. And if we move beyond that, you can see the cold air doesn't really, uh, doesn't really move from many central parts. Many southern parts, which are seeing some brutally cold weather at the moment, are going to remain a little bit milder before another blast of colder air moves through the south and it gets picked up by this low pressure with another very significant winter storm. Beyond that, you see, milder air does return to most of the country, but after a very significant colder spell of weather. Very significant conditions. We can be seeing this uh, potentially for like sort of once in a lifetime sort of snow for some areas, especially towards Texas, Alabama, Louisiana. Um, very, very wild conditions at the moment. I just want to emphasize how sort of rare this event is and how extraordinary it is. Um, uh, and I'll look at the global map in a minute where it does show you that. But I'll show you firstly the 850 HP temperature deviation. Again, this just shows you how brutally cold it is, colder than average. Now, remember, whenever there's brutally cold air um, sinking southwards, it's always warmer air moving northwards. You can see very warm temperature anomaly in Canada. Again, it's not that warm, um, but it's very warm for this time of the year um, with 850 HP temperatures around minus 5 to minus 10, which still delivers widespread snow. The temperatures will still be below freezing, but it's a, like 10, 20 degrees warmer than it should be um, with that. But you can just see how brutally cold that air and it sinks southwards, getting all the way down into Mexico. It's, it's truly exceptional. Now, this is what I really want to show you. This is the global um, current 850 HPA temperature profile for the whole world. You can see where the UK is. We are pretty much the only place on our latitude that is not in the freezer at the moment. And that's really what it's like uh, in uh, the UK. We are quite an anomaly because of the Gulf Stream and the jet stream bringing up milder air from the southwest. We are in very mild air, um, and even when we do into a colder spell, that's that's what our latitude normally is. So it really just shows you how exceptional the UK's general patterns are. But we're going to focus on America at this stage, um, and you can see how far south that bitterly cold air gets, like sort of minus 10, minus 20 degrees, 850 HPA, gets towards North Africa, 
um, getting towards sort of India, northern parts of Southeast Asia, um, getting sort of almost getting close to close to the Tropic of Cancer. That's how uh, that's how far south it's getting. It's truly, truly exceptional how deep how, how deep this cold is and how south it's getting. It's that combination with the wilder air which is going to be producing this massive winter storm Yuri. Now, if we have a look at the current temperature profile for the United States, if we zoom out, you can see brutally cold, sort of minus 10 to minus 20 degrees quite widely across central parts of America. And even getting down to sort of Houston, which I've focused in on, getting down to maybe minus 15 degrees. Now, this is somewhere that gets hurricanes, hurricane spawn here in the summer. That's how warm it gets. And you can see just a thousand miles or so um, eastwards, and you're in Tampa Bay, uh, Florida, where it's currently about 30 degrees. So it's just truly exceptional uh, with this deep cold. And if we zoom out even further, you can see on this current latitude, North Africa, 30, 40 degrees at the moment. Houston, minus 15. Moving even further eastwards, getting towards Saudi Arabia, India, northern parts of Eastern Asia. Remember, this is nighttime temperatures for them, uh, as it's, it's, the sun's already set. So it's 20, 30 degrees there at night. In the day, it might be 35 degrees, and it's minus 15 in Houston. It just shows you how truly exceptionally cold it is. This air really should be up toward northern Canada. It's as cold in sort of Texas right now as it is in many parts of Greenland, many northern parts of Canada, most of Europe, even parts of Scandinavia. Um, the only really colder parts are to the northern extent of this colder spell and then a few other patches in Greenland, Canada and Siberia. It truly is exceptional, this colder weather. Um, engulfing many central parts of America who in about a month or two's time will be expecting to see big thunderstorms uh, and, and the start of the tornado season so really it's just truly exceptional now if we have a look at the live radar if we zoom out you can see when it loads uh, when it all loads in this massive winter storm now um, it, it's spanning three, four, five, six states at the moment, and it's only going to gain more strength. You can see this long tail, that's where moisture is being pumped into the storm, and you can see this big arc of snow. It is moving relatively quickly, um, so it's not going to be dumping massive amounts of snow in one area, but it's going to be giving a wide, widespread foot, maybe two feet of snow, anywhere from sort of Texas, Oklahoma, which where it's already snowed, um, all the way up towards the northeast. Now, as I said earlier in the uh, video, when we look at the GFS 850 HPA temperature profile, many eastern parts are going to remain in the warmer air, that warmer sector, where it, which is fueling the storm. It's going to go up the eastern side of the United States, so many areas here, including parts of New York, are probably just going to see rain, and it's going to be generally dry, but towards... Detroit, Toronto, Ottawa, I could be seeing a lot of snow with this, and again you can see that's uh, winter storm um, Yuri and then winter storm Viola um, is spawning in towards like, Oregon, Idaho, Washington at the moment, and that's going to be tracking southwards, picking up moisture in the Gulf of Mexico, but we're heading back northeastwards, truly exceptional um, with this, and if you just zoom out even further, the size of that winter storm would engulf pretty much the whole uh, of England and Wales, if that was over the top of us, dumping a foot of snow to the whole of England and Wales in comparison. Um, so it is truly an exceptional um, winter storm. And if you look at the snowfall uh, rates in there, two, three inches per hour falling in the centre of that. And you do see there is a slither of freezing rain. Um, this is much better picked up in America as the Weather Channel is an American company, got better radars, um, uh, and they can see freezing rain a little bit better and predict it better. And you can see there is a line of freezing rain um, where we could be seeing quite significant impacts from ice. Now, I have seen uh, a few diagrams suggesting the potential that there could be some ice in sort of New York, maybe for South Philadelphia, Washington DC, some of, the, some of the biggest cities on the eastern coast could be seeing ice because they are get, they get close to this sector of freezing rain. So there's potential that they could see ice or you could just see rain in these regions. 
it's going to be very difficult forecasting for many 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 of the uh, meteorologists in America at the moment as it really are there will be life and death situations from this simply because of the amount of snow falling uh, over widespread areas and I'll just emphasize that now um, by having a look uh, I just refreshed unfortunately um, by having a look at the if we can get it back to it the past 24 hour um, snowfall amounts. So at the moment, you can see the band is towards sort of, uh, if we go back to full screen, it's towards sort of uh, Mississippi, Tennessee, Arkansas, but you can see further south and westwards have already seen very significant snows in 20, 30 centimeters of snow, so a foot of snow, um, even areas, Houston seeing a lot of snow, areas further northwards. Again, where heavier bands are set up, you can see where those heavier bands set up, um, giving heavy snow to, to more localised areas. But it's really a widespread amount of snow, and you can already see it spreading northeastwards. Huge amount of snow falling in the New Orleans system, tropical storm, uh, sorry, winter storm, um, viola as well. And again, if I zoom out, see that amount of snow would cover the whole of the United Kingdom in a couple inches of snow uh, and then local areas sink up to a foot or more that's how massive this storm is um, and now uh, if I run uh, if I go back to this and I go down to the future 48 hour totals if we pull that down and we run it through all the way until uh, Wednesday morning you can see the whole extent of this winter storm. Now you can see some heavy snow, um, especially over mountains for uh, for winter stormy uh, viola, and that's going to be tracking further southwards, and that's going to be impacting these areas again. And then you can see uh, the track of tropical, uh, of, sorry, winter storm uh, Uri with significant, so 20, 30 centimeters plus 40 centimeters areas of snow again it's not dumping those massive totals or we see those sort of pinky colors that we're seeing over some mountains um it, towards the uh, midwest and northwest um but it's dumping a lot of snow over a wide area and you can see really where that rain snow line is um it goes from a couple centimeters up to a foot of snow in the space of 150 miles um, or so and then you can see sort of the new york philadelphia washington sea right on the edge of that and that's why there's potential for seeing some freezing rain there Again, this could shift slightly northwards or southwards, but again, it's considering the storm has formed, it's pretty much going to be well forecasted from now on. Um, and you can see widespread areas seeing significant amount of snow before it comes out in sort of Newfoundland area, uh, and it will be entering the Atlantic, and it will be heading towards the United Kingdom. Now, it won't be a winter storm when it gets to the United Kingdom, it'll just be an area of low pressure and will probably give us uh, some wind and rain. Um, but this winter storm is going to be powering the jet stream. You can just see the, that's the line of the jet stream heading uh, eastwards. Um, and it will impact the UK uh, and it's powering up the jet stream. That's why we're seeing a very westerly pattern. Um, but this winter storm will amplify the jet stream. It's so strong it will amplify the jet stream, which will lead to the potential for us seeing some quite warm conditions in the UK over this weekend and next week. And I'll look at that again in another video probably this evening. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, significant impact in the United States at the moment it's, um, and it just showed you that the UK seeing only a couple of centimetres of snow is really not that significant in the grand scheme of things um, it just shows what the true impacts of extreme weather can be so yeah anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribing and I'll see you again for another video this evening